Hello friends and welcome to the 2.718281828 Productions Pwn Your Homework channel. In today's lesson, we will review one of the most fundamental tools in describing the world around us. One of the most common and best questions that you can ask as a physicist is how much? How much voltage? How much temperature? How much mass? How much distance? How much time? In order to intelligently answer these questions, we must be able to use an amount that is universally understood amongst other physicists and humans. These are known as units of measure. A unit of measure is a generally agreed upon amount of a physical quantity. It is then possible to describe other measurements as containing a multiple of this generally agreed upon quantity. For example, a unit of measure for weight is the pound. It is possible to describe how much weight of any object you can see around you has by using a multiple of the pound. The weight of this bag of sugar is 5 pounds. The weight of this bag of sugar is 10 pounds. The weight of this bag of sugar is 20 pounds. A major move forward in human understanding was creating standards for units of measure so that anyone referring to particular units have a highly defined value or point of reference. As scientists, the most common units of measure are referred to as SI units or System Internationale, which is comprised of seven interdependent physical quantities. These are Kelvin, second, meter, kilogram, candela, mole, and ampere. With this as an introduction, let's go through some common units of measurement. To measure distance, we commonly use multiples of the meter, abbreviated by a lowercase m. To measure mass, we commonly use the kilogram, abbreviated by a lowercase kg. To measure time, we commonly use multiples of the second, abbreviated by a lowercase s. To measure force, we commonly use multiples of the newton, abbreviated by an uppercase n. To measure pressure, we use multiples of the pascal, abbreviated pa. To measure energy, we commonly use multiples of the joule, abbreviated by an uppercase j. To measure power, we commonly use the watt, abbreviated by an uppercase w. To measure resistance, we commonly use the ohm, abbreviated by an uppercase Greek letter omega. To measure voltage, we commonly use the unit volt, abbreviated by an uppercase V. To measure current, we commonly use the unit ampere, abbreviated by an uppercase A. To measure temperature, we commonly use the unit Celsius, abbreviated by an uppercase C. To measure frequency, or how many times something happens in a given unit of time, we commonly use the unit of Hertz, abbreviated by HZ. To measure electric charge, we commonly use the Coulomb, abbreviated by an uppercase C. To measure capacitance, we commonly use the unit Farad, abbreviated by an uppercase F. Lastly, to measure magnetic flux density, we commonly use the unit Tesla, in after Nikola Tesla, and abbreviated by an uppercase T. Many of the units are named after famous scientists, such as Isaac Newton, Michael Faraday, Nikola Tesla, Charles Augustine de Coulomb, and James Watt, to name only a few. In the next video, we will provide a flashcard style review of some of the more common standard units of measure. Thanks so much for watching. Check out more at 2718productions.com, on Twitter at 2718productions, and check out the 2.718281828 Productions Presents Pwn Your Homework Physics Series Podcast at pwnyourhw.blogspot.com.